All right, y'all. So this week's episode of Love and Hip Hop New York was given what it was given. So let's give it what we got. So the episode starts off with Sydney Starr letting us know that she was somewhat offended by Nia Lee's fashion fixer upper, I guess. She was not feeling that at all. She felt like it was a take in her womanhood. It was a shot in her womanhood. And basically, Nia was saying to her that she didn't look like a woman. And she took offense to that and she took it personally. Now, what I don't understand, and I'm with you 100%, Jonathan, is why she couldn't say that to Nia Lee the same way she said it to Mariah Lynn. She articulated that perfectly to Mariah Lynn. But all she could give Nia was a, a buck one, two. And that that's not how we get down. Period. Not just in New York. That's not how we get down at all. Joel Santana is home. But he home with mama. So it's a catch. Since she's still his custodial guardian or whatever, she got to be in the same house that he in. So if he home, she home. Boom, cack, patty, whack. I don't really see a big issue with that, Kimbella. I understand that it's a little different having the mom around 24-7, but... All the kissing and the PDA that you was given to make her feel uncomfortable was not necessary. Maybe I don't know y'all's backstory and maybe you getting her back for something she made you feel back in the day. But I, I, I don't see an issue with with the mama being there. She didn't seem like she was being a big imposition anyway. Miracle gets a public defender. I'm with Rich 100%. Why didn't you voice that you needed some money to get a goddamn lawyer? Because this shit is serious. And I'm not saying public defenders don't do what they need to be doing. But but let's be real. We all want a lawyer that we can pay for and can represent us. And we know they got a good track record. As far as public defenders, we see public defenders as like the last resort. Like, oh my God. Like, I got to have a public defender. I, it's sort of like having a caseworker. It's like, eh, like, you know... And then you going around hollering, you want a better deal. Mama, you can't demand a better deal. You shot somebody. That's just how that works. You shot somebody. So you have to suffer the consequences of shooting somebody. You can't shoot somebody and say, oh, but it wasn't self-defense. Here's the real story. Now, you need to give me a better deal than that because, I no, you can't work your black girl magic in the courtroom, okay? Unless you are on the other side of the law, okay? Alexis Scott and this shootout situation. Blah, 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 blah. Things happen, things happen. You get back to the house. You see the baby. You see your grandma. You held that baby for all of two seconds. The whole spiel was, oh, I was thinking about a layer. Oh, my baby. Oh, I, oh, I just didn't, oh, 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 oh. And then you get there. You held the baby for two seconds. Oh, grandma, can you hold it for a second? Grandma been holding her since you left. No. No, ma'am. If you missing your baby so much, if your baby flashed before your eyes so much, oh, I would have just been laying kisses. Give me my baby, give me my baby. The baby wasn't even being irritable. She wasn't even being bad. She wasn't doing anything for you to just be like, oh, she doing too much. Let me hand her back to my girl. Two seconds. Alexis, you got to do better than that. And VH1, y'all got to do better. The whole time she was talking about how she a single mother, y'all flashing pictures of Freddie walk across the screen. Lord Jesus, y'all was just being so messy. Nia Lee and Sydney start talk at the vineyard. Basically, when she apologized and she was like, I didn't mean it that way. I just really want to talk to y'all. I want another chance at our friendship. Nia Lee was like, I hear you, but I ain't hearing you. So how about you give me some space? How about you give me some time? And then let's just enjoy this event, figure things out, and then we'll take it from there. But as far as this event, give me some space. You stay on your side, I stay on mine. She made that very clear, Sydney. She made that very clear. Stick a pen in it. We go to the grape stomping. The grape stomping was cute. It started off real cute. Nia Lee uh, was in the back, chilling in the cut. Sydney Star was in the front doing her thing, stomping the grapes, hiding her tuck, doing what she was doing. Boom, cat. Before we get back to Sydney Star, let's jump on Messy Mariah Lynn. Out of nowhere, Messy Mariah Lynn was like, ooh, here's my perfect opportunity. Stomping grapes, stomping grapes, stomping grapes. Ooh, Kimbella, let's talk about Yandy. Come on now. You messy and your whole situation is, I don't like how she adopted that girl. She made it seem like she was... It ain't yours to approve. It's that... Yandy adopting this girl ain't got no business of Mariah Lynn at all. Like, at all. I... I at all. Nowhere. At all. So I'm trying to figure out why Mariah Lynn is even concerning herself with this matter. It don't affect you one way or the other. 
And I understand you feel how you feel because you was a child of the foster system, but mama, mind the business that pays you. You don't even film no scenes with Andy. Girl, what's good? Now, while we still at the grape stomp, and here goes Sydney Star trying yet again to try to salvage a friendship that ain't really there with Nia Lee. I just really want you to be my friend. I really, I'm over here crying for you. I really want you to be my friend again. I want you to give me a chance. I only flinch so you can shut up. Sydney, that's as bad as the flinch. I only flinched so you can sort of shut up. Now, everybody else was like, so you can shut the fuck up. She didn't say shut the fuck up. But, come on. Like, to tell somebody I wanted you to shut up, how did you expect her to take that? How would anybody expect anybody to take that? I flinched so you can shut up. Please be my friend. Unless y'all got years and years and years of history, and she know that's just the type of person you are, you can't do that to nobody. You can't talk like that to nobody. No, ma'am. And here go messy Mariah Lynn yet again. Sydney Star is being bullied by Nia Lee. Nia Lee is bullying Sydney. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mariah, sit your little ass down somewhere. So then they go to the little patio or whatever in the little cabin. And Yandy comes up again. Mariah Lynn is sitting with Kimbella. And Nia Lee is there. And Jonathan. And boom, here go Yandy again. And Jonathan was over it. Jonathan was like, first of all, she's not even here to defend herself. We're not finna sit up here and talk about her. Kimbella, you was just calling me messy for talking about Juju. And here you are doing the same thing about Yandy. And so... He go, Kimbella, I'm just going to leave. I love you still the same. I'm just going to leave or whatever. She left. Baby, I don't know what happened, but I'm going to try to walk with y'all through this. After that, it was something along the lines of, I don't want you to ever have to choose between me, Kimbella, and Yandy. That's what Kimbella said. So let me just leave. I don't want you to have to choose, blah, 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 blah. After she left... Jonathan was like, because I always choose Yandy. Like, I'm always going to choose Yandy. Blah, 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 blah. And then Naya was like, well, I ain't got to worry about you choosing me or her. She was pointing to Mariah Lynn. I'm, I'm, it happened so fast, y'all. Naya was like, I ain't got to worry about you choosing between me and Mariah. I got to worry about you choosing between me and Yandy. Because we that close or I, whatever. Mariah then gets so mad and was like, let me excuse myself because if you ever got to choose between me and anybody, I'll make the decision for you because my friend Jonathan, my friend Jonathan ain't speaking up. To just going off and I'm just like, huh? What? Where did this come from, Mariah? So she storms off. So as Mariah Lynn is walking off, Nia Lee gives a woo child. That woo child sent Mariah Lee and her friends and she came back, woo child what? Woo child what? Now she came back real agitated, real aggressive, real what's, 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 what? So at that point, Nia Lee like, what's up, what's up? And that's when Mariah Lee sits down, let uh-uh, so we can be equally, what's going on? Because I'm not even coming at you like that. I'm not even coming at you like that. Nia Lee knew what was up, so she stood up and was like, I'm finna knock your ass the fuck out. Boom, she started bucking. She started doing what she was doing. Security gets involved, boom, cat. That's as soon as security grabs Mariah. She, ow, 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 ow. You just wait. Oh, you big, oh. It's just going, I mean, all the way out in the car. You bitch, you just think that I'm like, Okay, okay, okay. Nia Lee goes into a frenzy and she's breaking down because she like, I told y'all I don't want to get to this point. Like y'all been provoking me and poking and prodding at me all fucking day. And I have had it. I can't take no more. Y'all did it with Sydney, and now y'all doing it with Mariah and I just can't. I just can't. I just can't. She broke down. They end up leaving. Boom, cack. And finally, the episode ends with Miracle going in the court and she finds out that there's no plea on the table at all. No plea. So while she's sitting up there talking about they need to come out with a better deal, you done talked yourself into a situation that now you can't talk yourself out of. There is no plea. They are trying to demand jail time. You trying to do probation, but the actual state is trying to go for jail time against you. Like, and you you looking at what, from two to 20 years? Like, mama, that little breakdown was all but necessary because 
it's starting to it's starting to weigh down on you. Like you really got a hard situation to look forward to. Like you got two other what you got three other kids. You got three other kids, not just or two other kids. I don't know, but it's it's more than just them two girls. You got multiple children, and if this nineteen year old is the oldest, you got babies to look after. And mama, they trying to give you jail time for this shooting. That's some that's some heavy ass shit. And that's how the episode ends, y'all. That was Love and Hip Hop New York. And woo! Make sure you guys are liking and subscribing. Same place, same time.